Hello everyone, a glow discharge tyratron. Previously, this electronic component was used quite often, but now it is practically not used, although it can be used to make a touch switch, a photo sensor, or for example a circuit called a neon beam. In this case, the tyratron will emit warm, lamp-like light. And it is this scheme that I want to assemble today, using a volumetric installation and, perhaps, the most modern smart soldering iron with many functions and settings. This is a soldering iron from Fnersi. This is a very convenient, compact and easy to use soldering iron. If you wish, you can also purchase it by clicking on the link that will be in the description under this video. First of all, I will now briefly tell you what this smart soldering iron is. This soldering iron comes in such a compact branded box. The soldering iron is accompanied by an instruction with a detailed description and characteristics. Instructions in four languages. Chinese, English, Russian and Spanish. In this manual you can find a full description and characteristics of the soldering iron. For example, precise temperature control, operating voltage from 9 to 20 volts, power interface type C. Maximum power of 65 watts. Temperature range from 80 to 420 degrees Celsius. And fast charging protocol power delivery. It also describes in detail the process of turning on, setting up and operating the soldering iron. The following two pages explain all the items in the menu mode. I will tell you about them a little later when reviewing the soldering iron. The last pages give tips on soldering iron maintenance and safety. Well, here's the soldering iron itself. Lightweight, very convenient and compact. This soldering iron comes with a tip and a cap. The soldering iron is very comfortable to hold in your hand and, given its many settings, as well as precise temperature control, it is safe to say that working with it will be a pleasure. Included with this soldering iron are several additions. Firstly, this is such a powerful cord for connecting to a power supply with Type-C connectors. The cord is silicone and very soft. Also here is such an adapter. Soldering iron stand. And a powerful 65 watt power supply. This power supply has two connectors, USB and Type-C. Now I will check whether this power supply meets the stated characteristics. I will check it using the USB tester from Fnersi. I did a review of this USB tester in one of the previous videos and, if desired, you can watch it. Select automatic scanning. As you can see, this power supply really supports almost all fast charging protocols, except Wook and Warp. The soldering iron will work with this power supply without any problems.
As you can see, the soldering iron suggests that you need to press the left button to get started. In just 5 seconds, the soldering iron gained operating temperature, 290 degrees. As I said, this soldering iron has many settings, which makes working with it very convenient. In order to switch to the menu mode, you need to press these two buttons simultaneously. And here you can already navigate through the menu items. Let's take a closer look at each of these points. The first point is the brightness of the screen. If you press the right button for a long time, you can go to this point and select the desired indicators. A long press on the left button takes you to the main menu. Then the temperature calibration. Temperature display in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. The time of transition to sleep mode. The temperature is in sleep mode. Protection from children. System language. Switching modes for people with a right or left working hand. Selection of the operating voltage. By default, it costs 20 volts, but if the power supply supports a different voltage, then you can choose it here. And then the points that are already familiar to us. As you can see, the soldering iron from FNERSI is really very convenient. Now will be a great opportunity to test it in operation. With his help, I will assemble a scheme called Neon Beam. You can download the schematic diagram of this device, as well as ask questions you are interested in in the Telegram group. The link to the group will be in the description below this video. Join us. The scheme of switching on the MTX90 Thyretron in neon lamp mode is very simple. It contains only six parts. The Thyretron electrode is called anode, cathode and grid. The grid electrode is located between the anode and the cathode. It is used to ignite a gas discharge in the space between the anode and the cathode. I will make a base from copper wire, to which almost all parts will be attached. One side of this whole structure is ready.
Ready. Now I will solder the wires to connect this device to the network, and let's see what happened. It is also worth remembering that all elements of this circuit are under high voltage, so you need to be very careful when checking. This concludes this video, if you liked it, then click the subscribe button, also click on the bell icon next to this button to accurately receive notifications from my channel. I thank you for watching and bye.